Yeah, I, I do, I do. I pinch myself every every day. And and I always had a big vision for the company, but just now every year it gets just that little bit bigger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which one do you like? Christy Carr is a mother of three living on Sydney's northern beaches. Like many mumpreneurs, she started her business while on maternity leave and her line of infant formula was an instant hit. When I first launched goat milk infant formula onto the supermarket shelves, I think it was about 1% of the total uh, category and that grew over, uh, you know, only a few years to about 10%. Growth is a key word for this venture, which has expanded Australia-wide and also into Asia. We only have 300,000 babies born here in Australia, so being able to tap into a market like China, the largest infant formula market in the world, there's a lot of growth opportunity there. In the early days, Christy was also experimenting with baby food and customers liked the result. For the first organic baby food pouch to launch that was way back in 2006 and that had just never been seen before in the baby food category. We also have an organic grass-fed cow milk infant formula. The cows graze on lush organic fields, an important point for health conscious families. Organic across every aisle in the supermarket is really gaining traction as consumers start to really focus on sustainability. It's a major selling point offshore, particularly in China. The Asian consumer see Australian dairy as you know very high quality. They know about our pristine environment that we live in, and we have a very good reputation as, as a country across quality assurance, and that's never been more important than in the infant formula category. Bubs is uh, the world's only infant formula made from Australian goat milk, and many Asian cultures may have a high propensity of lactose sensitivities, and goat milk is very easy to digest compared to a cow milk protein. The pandemic hasn't been kind to Australian exporters and Bubs is among those to take a financial hit, with the share price reacting to declining revenue. When COVID first hit, there were many challenges, and not just for Bubs as a business, but our entire supply chain. Uh, so there was a lot of putting out fires. The one thing that didn't change throughout all that time was consumer demand. The Chinese consumers and also in our other Asian markets still wanted the product. <laughs> we're still buying the products. In fact, demand surged as many markets went into lockdown. Infant formula was really just after toilet paper for stocking up. So we'd had this huge spike in demand, but then it was followed by um, the borders closing. To find a way forward, Christie sought advice from Australia's international trade and investment agency, Austrade. Our market diversification has been a key part of our strategy over the last 24 months and will continue to be for the next five years. And uh, Austrade have really added a lot of value throughout that journey. So the agribusiness uh, initiative is all about making sure that our farmers and, and what they produce have access to as many markets as they possibly can get. The overseas network that Austrade has means that it, it can help and assist in, in all those countries. Diversification also means selling the right product into the right market. Our goat milk infant formula is by far the hero product in a market like China, but in Vietnam, it's our organic grass-fed infant formula. So we're able to diversify across portfolio and then also across the globe. Diversification is absolutely key. With the infant formula market growing, uh, 21 exporters now, we've got to make sure that they can access as many markets as they possibly can. During the pandemic, Bubs has also responded to new buying habits with more families ordering online. Even in South Korea now, we're seeing over 90% of infant formula being bought off e-commerce platforms <laughs> rather than being in store. So Austrade allows you to not just be able to access local intel and local language, but also really understanding the different sort of e-commerce environments in each of those markets. E-commerce means that a small business anywhere in Australia has a global marketplace. The opportunities are enormous and growing, and obviously we've spent a lot more time online during this pandemic. 
Among those new markets, the USA, which has just started stocking bubs at one of the largest supermarket chains. In my wildest dreams, I didn't think we would um, get the nod from Walmart. The American expansion follows two years of research. Once again, Austrade lent a hand. Certainly the plan is to have bricks and mortar roll out into the retailers. We have big hopes for America, but being able to access the market and test the market through e-commerce is just giving us all sorts of opportunities that it just would have taken a lot longer. The new export opportunities have helped Bubs turn a corner, lifting the share price. Really good to see that we've been able to turn the business around. After having a, a, a very challenging year, I can safely say that I have never been more optimistic about Bub's future.